Exocrine glands are made of epithelium, and these glands make products which leave the body, either leave the body outright, such as sweat, or enter a tube which exits the body. And so this would include digestive tract secretions, reproductive tract uh, secretions, uh, and anything which would enter the respiratory tract, the urinary tract, etc. And so exocrine secretions uh, leave the body and they typically travel through tubes or ducts. So if there is a sweat gland, there would be a sweat duct. If there is a digestive gland, such as a salivary gland, there would be a duct for that gland. Uh, the only uh, exocrine glands which lack these ducts are the unicellular glands, some of which make mucus. Exocrine glands are very common in the skin, in the digestive tract, uh, in the reproductive tract, and in other parts of the body. Endocrine glands are also made of epithelia. Unlike exocrine glands, their products do not leave the body. Instead, they diffuse into the blood. Endocrine glands make signals known as hormones, which then travel through the blood to other cells of the body. In addition, they do not travel through tubes or ducts. They simply uh, pass directly into the blood. So endocrine glands can be distinguished from the exocrine glands because they are not making products which leave the body, but rather hormones which enter the blood, and they do not travel through tubes or ducts. Both of these glands, however, are made of epithelial cells.